All right, so these people here, they need some friends, some family, some people who don't want their money, some people who don't care nothing about their money, some people who just want to help them genuinely, don't care about what they got, who they are to the social media, who they are to the world, because this thing done got out of hand. Now, both of them wrong. If you just give me your commentary and give me your thoughts on the situation of everything that's going on, both of them wrong. Just real wrong. Nobody should have said nothing. You want to know the truth? They got some unfinished business. If they don't sit down and handle that business between them on some personal level, this ain't going to get no better. Let's call it out there. CJ using Lexi because he was hoping that Lexi going to help him get over royalty faster. It's working to an extent, but he still got to see it. Royalty don't want brushy with. They just pretty much using each other. It's a whole business relationship. They just their own business. Let's call that out. That's what's going on. But let's get into all this stuff that's going on. So, y'all know Royalty at the food the other day. If you see you see that video, you can go. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking a question. And then you keep bringing me and Rico up. Stop blaming us. Nobody care about your dumb ass, your bitch ass. Nobody give a look at it. Um, on live now. It was because of a comment that Lexi was laughing or something that somebody said and CJ responded to it. That wasn't it. You know what's hurting the most with Royalty? She ain't gonna never admit to herself. She gotta see Lexi every time she pick up her twin. She wanna pillow talk to CJ. She wanna get an extra thousand dollars out of him. Two hundred dollars. Get her nails done. Buy her some shoes. Do something nice for her. That's what she really wants to do with CJ. But she can't because every time they meet up and see to Lexi right there. That's what she really mad about. Let's get to why CJ mad. CJ really mad because he ain't really think old girl finna move on from him. He was like, ah, she'll be there when I need her. She'll be there for a late night session. She'll be there. But Roger did expose him too for some of the stuff he did. But all this really stemmed from, he done ran up a bag on the old video, too, that he posted of her son. He ran up a bag on that. He ran up a bag, spending money on everybody else, because, believe it or not, they both watching each other's videos. And if they not, they got somebody going back and forth. They got, they got a channel that bash CJ all day. They got a channel that talk about royalty all day. That's all going on back and forth. And those people are keeping this drum up between them, and they both watching. So, with them watching, it's causing real life drama for them because they really still love each other and ain't neither one of them got over the hurt. But let's get into this drama after I get a little commentary and let y'all play it out. Watch how these stories go. Royalty Car, car, royalty car got repossessed. Uh, they say she finna get evicted. CJ ain't got no views. I'm going to play out this whole little thing. It's going to tell a story at the end. Y'all tell me what y'all think after y'all watch that if y'all got this far. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments down below. Just go ahead and watch what's going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. All right. Okay, then don't go on the internet. If somebody say mention anything about me, then don't do that internet stuff. I'm right here, so what's funny? We don't want to talk. And you need a job. You need a job. You need a car. You need a car. You need a house. You need a car. You need a house. You need a car. 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 You and he's a down low. He likes men. He likes men with wee wee. And that's probably what you are. You're a loser. That's why you ain't got no views. That's why you ain't got no views. But you're posting my kids. 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 I don't care about views. I'm good. Oh, she says she's on a video. I didn't hear the girl. Who want really a girl? We're going to the Henderson police ourselves. Look at this. We're going to the Henderson police ourselves. Give her Cordea, everything's silent. Well, besides the fact that the kids are crying as usual when they see the mother and the grandmother. They're crying, Daddy, no, please, we don't want to go with them. Take me back to your house, whatever, right? Royalty, aka Charlene, puts Cordea, my youngest daughter, in the car in her mom's Jeep. She puts her in the car and she comes back and she starts cursing us out. She starts cursing out Lexi first. What's so funny? What's so funny? Ah! <laughs> Doing this crazy stuff, right? <laughs> Lexi's laughing and I'm like instantly, we're not here to do that. What, what, what is I'm going on here? I'm laughing, it's 
so funny. I'm not here for this. That's yeah. You can hear me saying in the background, hey, we're not gonna do all that. Because <sighs> this is catching me off guard and I can see where it's going because her cell phone is like. Before, yeah. It's that's like why this. I knew something was gonna She's happen because like I've seen her after she put Cordea in the car, she went. And then put it in their bra. And I'm like, Here did you start we go. recording instantly? Absolutely. Basically, I, I, what happened is a lot of them are in this illegal industry of prostitution and pimping, right? And what that does to you in Las Vegas is it prevents you from moving forward as a regular individual. Once you get caught doing these things that they've all been caught doing, you get 86, which is what she's talking about, which means you get kicked off the property permanently. Your picture is saved in the back and the facial recognition picks up your face on every camera in the casino. So the places we go to and the events we hit, they can't go to because their face will be picked up from all of these illegal things they've done and we don't want to be- so I tapped in to just watch the little video because I wanted to know why everybody was on my motherfucking page. Talking shit to me this morning. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, girl, you 25 dating an old man. And you just, I feel sorry for you, sis. That man want to be with his baby mama girl that man if Charlene said drop everything right now I'm coming that nigga is leaving you sis I'm sorry that ain't my fault listen all I'm worried about is me and mine I make sure my baby daddy got an amazing situation he ain't never got to worry about me being no bitter baby mama I don't give a fuck I'm gonna make sure his kids together bitch I ain't never the one two or three bitch don't even give a fuck then add on top, sis, I know you know about the carpet, cause you used to be on the carpet, bitch. You used to have some little folks, so I ain't gonna out you like that. I ain't gonna really, really talk, talk and tell you what's up, because I know what's up, bitch. I'm from Vegas, bitch. I know you from Hottie, when you used to slang hangers at Hottie, bitch. When you, I used to buy clothes from you at Hottie. But I know about you being out there on the carpet, sis. And... Sorry, bro, if you don't know about your bitch, but she was about some hoeing, too. She was about that hoeing, too. Let's talk about it. So, um, I don't know what y'all got going on, but leave me out of it, because a bitch like me, I'm a solid bitch. Solid. Get you one. Because if I was sitting next to a nigga and he was fighting with his baby mama, I'd be trying to make the peace. I'd be trying to, you know, have a bitch come and all I'm saying is, I'm a lover, not a fighter. You ain't gotta worry about me with the pow pow, cause that's what y'all narrative y'all trying to say is. These ghetto ratchet black bitches come, they got your pow pows. Like, girl, save it, sis. Save it, sis. Just because you love niggas, bitch, and your white ass wanna be a nigga, bitch, save it. Save it. This bitch ain't ghetto. Ain't nothing ghetto about me, bitch. Don't, I don't got to pull up doing nothing, bitch. My name hold enough weight because you keep on bringing it up, bitch. Mm. Uh-uh. Don't be coming over here talking about angry black woman. I'm living my best life. Don't be letting them spin no uh, YouTube narrative for y'all because I don't do YouTube. I personally think the shit a little bit weak, but I mean, that's, one hustler to a person that make videos. So I'm just saying, I don't sit around and make videos all day. So that's not my life. So don't be coming over here and talking about don't bully that girl. Tell that bitch not to bully me. Cause I'm the innocent bystander in this whole situation. I ain't got shit to do with nobody. I ain't talk bad about nobody. I ain't made no videos about nobody. This is the first time me speaking out on some people that speak out on me. Uh-uh, don't be coming over here talking about angry black women Cause bitch, I ain't angry I'm just speaking up on speaking up on some facts Because people want to put facts out there I got the facts True. Everything that was told to you by her or them Was clearly a lie to manipulate you guys Into believing that there's somebody to be interested in Clearly you guys can see for yourself At this point they get no attention The views they do get, I'm proud of them I mean, I got it.
I gotta give it up to them. I wouldn't watch a second of their videos. It's unscripted, unedited, un no topic at all, just all over the place. And most of it involves her shouting out somebody who nobody knows or cares about. So a lot of her content is like damn near a promotional channel for somebody else. So that is why the views are what they are. It has nothing to do with me being gone. Because look, they're gone from my channel and my views still do what they do. So we didn't have to be together to see who was who. Because I'm not quitting YouTube, no matter what, I'm not. I know my last title with thumbnail may have seemed like I was quitting YouTube, but nobody can make me quit YouTube, especially Charlene. What I'm trying to quit is the argument. What I'm trying to quit is looking her in her face every time I drop off or pick up my kids. Too. You say something else to me when I come and get my kids next time, Nike might pop out. I know your mans might be somewhere. I can clearly feel the vibe. Your mans is always around watching you because y'all live together. He's homeless, clearly, so y'all live together. She got her car repo, so now she has to use her freaking grandma's truck every day, which means means technically he might have to rent a car from here and there for them to get around to point A to point B. But her life falling apart like this should be like the sign sealed note. Her car that I helped her get repoed. Her house that I helped her get is about to be evicted. Like evicted. Like these are things that I've heard. Okay, I'm not saying that I know for a fact, but from the last couple of times I've seen that she didn't have no car. That's the truth. She did not have a car. She used to come in her car and her mama would come in her Jeep together. They would pull up like they was about to fight every time. Now, they don't pull up together no more. Now they both in the Jeep every time. And it's kind of crazy. But that's not my business because I still got all my stuff and I ain't trying to speak nothing negativity on nobody because we don't want that to come full circle on me. But I do like to speak the facts. So the fact is, you ain't got nothing. So how you want to fight me? How you want to argue with me? How your mans want to have beef? I just really can't believe you sat up here and lied. It's like you really made this big excuse not to really be in your kid's life. The worst excuse. Of course, it's my fault. Of course, it's my fault. DJ, you had a conversation with me right after mediation about more than a week ago, June 2nd. You called me, CJ, and said all the stuff that you said in the video that everything is too overwhelming for you. You can't do this. You told me this. So I don't understand why you wait almost two weeks to find an excuse to say you do not want to see the kids anymore if that's what you really are insinuating. I, I find it real sad. The conversation that I had with you, you did tell me it was overwhelming. This is too much for you. The kids are a lot. You said you wanted to travel. You said you wanted to live your life. Those are the things that you told me, CJ, and you told me as long as I promised when you called that I will let you see the kids. You even told me to drop my lawyer, CJ. You told me to call my lawyer to drop everything because you don't want to do this anymore. You don't want the courts in our business. You told me not to bring it to the internet, but here you go, bringing it to the internet. Once again, here I go have to defend myself, defend my kids, because you are ignorant. So what really is the issue, CJ? Is you really mad you didn't get the views that you wanted with the kids? Is you mad that I still haven't came back and it's been almost a year? Is you really mad that me and my kids really don't need you? You sat up here and you lied again. What have you done for me, CJ? You still don't do anything for me financially till this day. So what are you even talking about, CJ? Is you mad that we really don't need your help? Get over it, CJ. Get out of your feelings. Oh, like, that's all they have is me. So once I stop doing this, like I already had stopped doing this, we're going to see them go back down again because I'm pretty sure after me doing this, they're going to go up, which proves to everybody watching, I don't care what they do. If they winning or losing, it doesn't affect me. I actually want them to win so that she wouldn't need as much from me. Because the other day when she asked me for $7 and Lexi was right there trying her best not to laugh, I couldn't believe it. I had to screenshot the text message to send to my lawyer. Hey, lawyer, does this mean I'm a better fit for the primary parent? Because she said that my daughter having an allergic reaction and she can't afford a $7 cream, she need me to send her the money. What does that mean? That means you shouldn't even be beefing with me. You shouldn't be hopping out the car yelling at me. You should be hopping out the car bowing down, begging for more money. I told my lawyer, my attorney, yesterday, after I sent her the video, I sent her a long message and I said, honestly, I can't, I don't want to, and I will not do this anymore. I don't want to pick up my kids. I don't want to drop off my kids if I have to see and hear this individual. This human being is trying to make me out to be the bad guy. Now you want to sit up here and say you so petrified of me? You so angry with me? 
Don't sit up here, CJ, and act like you have not openly invited me and my kids to your house several times. You even wanted to throw a birthday party for Leon. I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to be a part of the pimps and the hoes and the prostitution that's going on. I don't want my twins to be a part of it, but guess what? Since Charlene won't allow me to take the kids from her, they might have to just grow up and once they're old enough, speak for themselves and say, hey, I don't want to be a part of this, mom. I want to go with my dad. I'm the mother of those twins. I'm always going to be their mother and I'm always going to be there to take care of them, whether you're in the picture or not, CJ. So it doesn't even matter. So if you really feel that way, it is what it is. That's all I got to say.